Hey guys, this is Leo with Scott Leroy Marketing, and in today's tip video, I'm going to show you the updated look of adding your forms to your opportunity, to the Documents tab of your opportunity, in order to submit to your Market Center for Compliance Review. Okay, so a big part of the process, after you get your forms signed, um, whether that be electronically signed through DocuSign or DotLoop, or if you got that hand signed, okay, whatever the case may be, a big part of that process after you get your form signed is you'll need to upload those signed forms to your opportunity to submit to your office for compliance review. Okay, and there has been a slightly updated look to that. Uh, KWRI updated that this week, uh, September 17th, 2021. Um, so I'm just gonna show you that look and give you a rundown of how that works. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is go to the Opportunities icon on the left-hand side, and I am logged into Command. If you are not already, um, the login for Command is at agent.kw.com. That's uh, at the top of my screen if you need to pause and look at that and sign in. Again, that's agent.kw.com. Let's go ahead and click on the Opportunities icon on the left-hand side menu to take you over to your opportunity pipeline. So again, click on that handshake icon on the left-hand side of the command menu. And you, if you have not already, the first step in starting any transaction in command with DocuSign or DotLoop is to create an opportunity first in command. So the workflow is pretty specific for how KWRI wants you guys to be starting transactions. So it is typically very important that you always come to command first to create your opportunity. Once you do that, it will allow you to click start transaction and I'll point out where that is within the opportunity in order to create your room or your loop and dot loop or your room and DocuSign. Okay, so again, just to say that one more time because it's so important, you will always want to start your transaction in command by creating your opportunity. And I will include a, a 30 minute overview of how to, the specific workflow I was talking about, how to start your transactions in command with DocuSign. That'll be in the YouTube description below. So you can check that out. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and navigate on over to my opportunity to show you guys this. And you can use, I'm sorry, you can navigate to your opportunity in a couple different ways, right? You can search your contact database for the contact the opportunity is under. And you'll notice if you open the contact in your database, you'll have the opportunities on the right hand side of the contact record, of course, or you can come over to the opportunities icon like I'm doing here to pull that up from my pipeline or from all opportunities. So however you guys feel comfortable pulling up your opportunity, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So simply navigate to your opportunity and click on the opportunity name to open that up. Feel free to pause the video if you've not found your opportunity quite yet. But once you do, once you click on the opportunity name, it'll open up the opportunity details. And we'll wanna click on the documents tab of your opportunity specifically. So on that white toolbar here. All right, this documents tab is where you'll need to go to submit your paperwork for compliance review to your market center staff. All right, your market center staff will do compliance review where they review your forms, make sure it's signed properly, filled in properly. Uh, so they can give you your commission check at the end of the process. All right, so when you come to the Documents tab right here, you'll see on the left-hand side, it'll either say Pick Checklist Type, All right? So if you haven't picked a checklist type yet, or if there's only one, or if you have multiple checklists, you can click Pick Checklist Type. On the left-hand side, it'll be bold next to this down arrow to select the checklist. Alternatively, you may already see the checklist name here. So if you already see a checklist name like I do, that's totally fine. Once you select that checklist name, you'll see on the left-hand side a few folders appear, depending on which checklist you've selected. And in each folder, it will show you the name of each document that you need to pull in. Okay, and these are the, the ones that are marked required, for example. The ones marked required are required for you to submit the signed form in order to receive your commission check. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do that. 
So again, you'll see if that's required or if that form is conditional, you know, meaning that it depends on the type of property or the type of transaction, um, if it requires that form or not. All right, you'll, you may see an example of the form as well. So if I were to click on this, I can see an example of that so I can get an idea of, okay, that's the form I need to submit. And then on the right hand side here, this is where we can go ahead and submit our paperwork. Let me remove some of these so I can show you guys a little higher up here. All right. So on the left or right hand side rather, you'll see an option to drop your files here or browse. So you'll want to pay attention right up here where it says attach files from. This is kind of the new layout here. So it'll give you the option to either attach files from my computer. So if you got those forms hand signed, what you'll want to do is, is scan those to your computer and save it to your computer as a PDF. Or if you have those forms signed in your email, right, as an attachment, go ahead and save that to your computer. So it will allow you to upload that directly from your computer. So if you have signed forms that you need to upload from your computer, you can go ahead and click it. Um, click right here to browse your computer to pull that in. I'll just pick one. Okay, or you can drag and drop as well if you're comfortable with that. Alright, other than that, it does give you the option. So on the top right here where it says attach files from, it does give you the option to select from DocuSign or Dot Loop as well. So you can pull your signed forms directly over from your e-signature platform like DocuSign or DotLoop, as long as you started the opportunity in command first and then clicked on start a transaction. Okay, right now mine says go to transaction because I already started it. All right, but in order for you to pull your signed paperwork directly from DocuSign or DotLoop, you have to follow that specific workflow I was talking about that you have to start your opportunity in command first, then click start a transaction where my mouse is, and that will start your DocuSign room or your loop and dot loop, whichever one you're using. All right, that's the only way to link up the opportunity in the room or the opportunity in the loop. Okay, I'll, otherwise there's not a way to link it back to a different opportunity or change that in the future. So again, that 30 minute overview is linked in the description of this YouTube video. If you haven't checked that out, I would highly recommend it. All right, but if we're selecting from DocuSign, so if you did set it up like that, I would recommend pulling that form from DocuSign directly or dot loop directly. So if you change that to where it says attach files from, you'll see DocuSign right here, and it'll change these drop down menus so you can select. And it'll give you an option to select the signed forms that you have in this DocuSign room specifically. So I'll be able to click from the drop down and go ahead and click. And that will go ahead and allow me to link up as I go down here. I can go ahead and select those on the right hand side to link that up. All right, so this is signed paperwork that would be in your DocuSign room or your dot loop, loop that you can go ahead and pull right over. Uh, you can also pull from custom folders, so if you have any forms and custom folders down here, those would need to be added to your compliance checklist in order to submit to your, compli submit to your market center for a compliance review. So that kind of bridges me into our next step here is that after you add your signed paperwork to your Opportunity Documents tab, right, you'll want to be doing that consistently as you go through your transaction. So you'll want to be adding in all your signed paperwork for your listing as you get that, uh, your contract when you get that, and closed, your closed paperwork when you get that, as opposed to adding it all in at closing. You'll need to be submitting your Opportunity for Compliance Review to your Market Center intermittently throughout the transaction, okay? And of course, check in with your market center staff on their policy for compliance review, okay? Each office has a slightly different process. But just to give you guys an idea in general on when you want to be submitting to your market center for review and how to upkeep your paperwork, right, if you are representing the listing, you will want to submit to your market center, so click this button three times throughout the transaction. The first time when you go live on the MLS with all your listing paperwork signed and added to the listed folder. A second time when you go under contract, so you'll come to the under contract folder, add in all your signed contract paperwork and click submit to MC again. And when you go under contract, you'll also need to submit a commission request 
from where my mouse is circling where it says office, offers and commissions. Uh, so if that's the case for you, if you are under contract, I will include a link to the commissions overview as well to show you real quick how to submit a commission request. It usually doesn't take any longer than 10-15 minutes and you will need to be doing that when you go under contract. And then finally, you'll submit to your Market Center for review a third time when you close with all your closed paperwork added in and you'll cl click Submit to MC. And so your office staff does not really look at your opportunities unless you click Submit to MC to submit that signed paperwork over to them. So again, if you're representing the listing, you'll want to do that three times throughout the course of your transaction, once when you go live on the MLS, once under contract, and once when you close. If you're representing the buyer on this transaction, in that case, you'll just need to submit to your Market Center for review, so this button right here, twice when you go under contract with all your, your contract signed paperwork. Remember, when you go under contract, that's when you go ahead and submit that commission request. So if you need help with that, check out the link in the YouTube description. And then finally, a second time when you close, with all your closing paperwork, you'll click Submit to MC. And you'll notice this is grayed out because I don't have any paperwork added in, but with the folders that you add paperwork, it'll allow you to submit to your MC for review. All right, guys, if you have any questions on that, please let us know. Um, I just want to point out as I'm exploring around these three dots here as well, it, it will give you the option to add further documents. So if you need to add a document that's not currently on the checklist, you can click the three dots on the top right to add a document, add a comment to the checklist, which would send that to your office staff, and you can even export the documents all at once. So if you click on the three dots on the top right, it'll allow you to export all the documents in this folder so you can have that as one file. And that's up here as well, on the top right. All right, guys, if you have any questions on this, please do not hesitate to reach out. You can reach out to me directly at support at scottleroymarketing.com. You can put attention in my name in the subject line, which is Leah, L-E-A-H, and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have on this. All right, guys, hope this helped, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.